Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to discuss the first problem from the latest code forces round 721 problem name and their then their working so I was actually registered for this contest and I actually thought to give this contest but actually I just felt sleepy because I was not feeling good so I just slept and then when I wake up this contest was over uh, so sorry for not giving it but I will definitely give the next contest for sure so uh, but I am up solving this problem so the first problem is uh, like when I first or anyone first solve this problem out, you do not actually understand like I do not know how to approach such type of problems because like like what will be the answer because k n is very large I cannot do this in a brute force way and most of the first problems are brute force problems most of the problems but this is not and I cannot do this, do this in a brute force way but the problem is actually saying that like you are given some n and you have to somehow find out a value k such that if you do a like bitwise and of n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 till k so let's assume that if you have been given n equal to 10 and if you choose k equal to 3 so you will just do a bitwise from n equal to 10 then l equal to k so it's like a some somewhat type of window and you have to somehow find out the greatest value of k or the maximum value of k such that the window which you have taken the right side which is equal to k should become equal to 0 and that's the whole problem now I actually do not know how to solve this problem out so in such a problem generally what i actually do here is i just write down a code for finding out okay whether like how can we tell that or how can we find out the value of k can we just do uh, so what i did was i just run a brute force way for finding out what is the value for k which give this value equal to zero for small values of n so i just write down a code in which let's assume that for uh, for n equal to like 10 9 and 8 i just write on a code three codes or like or actually just n i just change, changed my n and find out if i take n equal to 10 and start from start from 10 just find out that what is the end of n, 10 then 10 and 9 10 9 8 so i'm just finding out for every window so the window can be so i can take k equal to n or n minus 1 or n minus 2 or n minus 3 whatever i can take so I just have to find out at which point this value or this window turns out to be zero and then I start seeing patterns. So I, I, I actually uh, saw that for all the values, so let's assume if I choose out 8 or 9 or 10 or 11, the answer is 7 for all of them. Now I started seeing that but whenever I go to let's assume uh, like 18, the answer turns out to 15. So it means that it is somewhat a power of 2 minus 1 and just like I'm seeing that. But I do not know why it is happening. But then I just thought that okay, just write down one example and then it eventually just become very easy to me to understand. So as you can see, let's assume that I just take out any number. Okay, and I want to find out some k such that after that point, this turns out to be zero, like the value. So I, at each point, I just subtract out one number from this. Okay, so let's say that this is the number and then there is some another bit, some another number, another number, such so that this, if this is equal to some number which is n, this is n minus 1, n minus 2 and so on, till equal to k. Now, what you can easily see here is, in every number, so if just, if I take out a small number, let's assume if I take 8, or let's assume I take out this number, okay, which is equivalent to, so this is equal to, so if it is, 0 1 2 3 this is 8 plus these numbers which is like 1 and 2 also 8 9 10 11 this is 11 okay if i subtract on 1 from it it will become like this 1 0 and if you subtract out this like it will become like this then it will become like this then it will become this and then it turns out it goes to this now what you can see in this problem is if i take any number it decreases down so what is the and and the value of and for every column if i take out some row everything should be one everything should be one then only it will give me a bitwise and of that to be equal to one if any of the columns has zero then the value of that column will become zero so as you can see if, if you see any zero then the column will become zero but if you have ones then the value will be one so as you can see for the first bit it, it it is continuously be one up till this point and after that when you hit a point in which it becomes zero then it after that it will become zero 
So I have to find down this number, which is the maximum number, obviously. I will get the point. So for every number, this number changes out and somewhat becomes zero or not. But eventually, all of them become zero. But this bit will not become zero. The first bit. It will only changes its position when I go to a number in which this bit becomes zero. When does this bit become zero? So it becomes zero. So let's say that like this number is any number. I just find out what is the position of the first set bit in this number. Okay. So let's say that I have some number which is like this. So everything has first some zeros. If you just assume that uh, like if it is an integer number, so if it has some ones and it has some zeros and ones zeros and it also it has some zeros in the front. If you go from like from the left to right and find out the first set bit, that is the bit which, which will not becomes uh, like all the if you subtract one from it, all of these bits will somehow become zero. But this bit will not become zero until a point in which I just go down to a number which is two to the power of n minus one or two to the power of this bit minus one, which means that I have to find out a number which is having all the set bits apart from this. It is zero. So this is the number I want to find out. So what you can easily do here is also like you can write a code, find out the first position of the set bit, and then after from that position, take out every like how many bits are there, and then th then take all of the bits equal to one, all make make all of these bits set, and apart all of these bits make them like off, and then that's the number. You can also do that, or if you know that if you have some set bit, let's assume that if you have some number this, and if you subtract one from it, if this is a this this is not a number in uh, number, it is like a number in uh, like uh, bit formation. If you subtract a one from it, what it it will happen? It it will become zero, and this will all become one. So if you have a number uh, which has all zeros and one set bit, if you subtract one from it, all the bits after that will become one, and this will become zero. Okay, so let's assume that it like it is eight. If you subtract one from eight, it will become seven, which is like this. Oh, sorry. So it's like one, one, one. Zero. This is seven. So that's the same thing. If you want to find out the number which is this, you can first find out the first set bit number, okay, and make this as a number which is like this number, two to the power of that number which is like this number, and subtract one from it which is equal to this number. Or you can find out the first set bit position and then make, and apart from that, rest all the set bits you can just make them set and up. The bits before that just make it unset, and that's the number also. You can find out any of them, and that's the answer. So I can show you the code part. It's now not too difficult. You can just iterate over the uh, number from left to right, and because there are 31 bits, uh, from 31 till zero, uh, you just find out what is the first bit which is set. So you just do an AND operation of n and bitwise left shift one by i number of positions, and such so that you just finding out the first Set bit. You just taking out a number and just doing an and and checking that whether the certain bit is set or not. If it is set, then what you will do? You can just take that current bit and so it, it's just this is is just two to the power of n or two to the power of i. Okay, so you can just take one left shift it i times. It is equivalent to two to the power of i. You can also like write down this, which is like pow two to the comma of i. This is just equivalent to that. It is just giving a number which is having one, and all the rest of the ten are zeros, and then subtract one from it such that the current set bit becomes off, and all the bits which are after that becomes on, and that's a number. Or which I've also told you, if you find out the first set bit, then make another number such that iterate from the next bit from this current bit, and make all of them bits, uh, like all the bits on, and that's the answer also. And just to return out that that's the maximum answer. Because all the bits after that, all the numbers after that will also give you zero only. Because once you hit, once you hit a zero, then all the numbers after that are also zero. Because if you just take out five and like uh, if you just hit a number which is like zero, then if you do five and zero, four and zero, everything will be zero only. So it means that the first number is the maximum number which you have seen. So just you just print out that number and that's the answer. I hope you understand the logic and the code. If you still have doubts, you can mention down. I'll see you next time. Till then, keep coding and bye.